it's happening. Will Tinubu survive? Will he become Nigerian's president? There are a lot of issues going on right now, as um, even from his very home front, talking about the Southwest, there are different groups with different opinion and different section coming up to say if Tunubu is the anointed candidate to become Nigerian's president. As we speak, there are people who are already saying Tinubu does not qualify, while others says he should be given a chance. But whichever side of the bargain or whichever side of the, of, the, of the twist you find yourself, the most important thing we need in Nigeria is not sentiment. We need reality to come out of the current predicament we've come to find ourselves. There are too much things going on for us to meddle in matters that will not really move us forward as a nation. The cause of everything that is happening clearly shows and states to us in clear definitions and terms that it is everybody's responsibility and duty. Although we know it, to a large extent we have a fraudulent government, but we can change it as we are determined. God helping us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 84 Yoruba groups set up conduct southwest polls on presidential aspiration uh including tinubu so this group are making you know rounds yoruba group are making moves to make sure the presidential aspiration have the best interest in nigeria at heart before 2023 election the group have decided to meet and map out plans on how to engage Southwest political aspirants ahead of the polls. The group general secretary, Mr. Popola Ajayi, disclosed this move was made in bid to address the fear of aspiration of the people that we don't want to repeat the same mistake we made in 2015. The Alliance of Yoruba Democratic Movement has again met in, Euro in Lagos with a vow to ensure that the people of the Southwest determine the future of the election in the region rather than leaving it to chance or anybody endorsing another. Several pound Yoruba groups said ethnic conflict, violence and national questions are critical issues that must be resolved if elections has to be meaningful and impactful in Nigeria, according to Saha reporters. The group said it will soon launch an op opinion poll across the southwest, including Kwara and Kogi states, to fill the pulse of the people on presidential aspirant and the contest of the future of the democracy and elections in the region. In a statement after its meeting in Lagos by the regional secretary, Mr. Popola Ajayi, the coalition said many Yoruba people are tired, are tired of election and all the fears that comes with it. There is too much failures. They lie so much to us and are not even ready to vote anymore. The coalition added that those fears will be dealt with as they will sample opinion and know what the people want and the fact of money sharing and material sharing to get the votes of the people and later destroy the moral fabric of the nation will be a thing of the past. We are going to take the future of this nation in our hand. From the Southwest, where we have intelligent men and women, we are going to put it together that anybody who will be voted for, whether Tinubu, Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, Fayemi, or any, anybody who intends for this race must be qualified, mean well for the people, and someone who has the interest of the nation at heart. Well done, Yoruba um, leaders. I mean, you, you have taken a very wise decision in your approach to ensure that, you know, we get the right candidates. That is how it should be. I wish that every other region would follow suit and begin to, you know, look out for how we can get uh, the best of candidates, you know, in sampling polls and, you know, educating the people on the conduct of election and how they should not collect peanuts and sell their very soul. Take, for instance, Buhari came with enormous, enormous and robust promises telling Nigerians that, oh, even your students, your children in school, we have what we call buzzery. Do you know what that we do? That will be the only money some students will get to school. 
because the parents would have done their best to be able to pay school fees. Eh? So that money, you will have to go and make hair, cut hair, do maybe if you are sewing, if you can buy some things to sell, suits, pants, to your fellow schoolmates, to be able to make up for the rest of the money. So if, if the government is giving you 5,000 naira, immediately you get that money, you go and buy food stuffs. If you can trek to the, your, 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 if your lecture room is far from your, if your, where you are having your lecture, if it's a bit far from where you are living, you wake up early. You align with some group of students and you wear, uh, you know, not too high uh, sander or slippers or whatever is convenient, a convenient footwear. And you begin to leg it. So you leg it down and you leg it back. You come home, come back to your hostel and you're able to eat. Do you know how much that will solve? A lot of people, you know, everybody saw their own interests here and there on how the government is to help them, you know, and how the government is to put things in place. And they were very happy to support the government, not knowing it was a mirage. You know, when you are traveling in a very hot, sunny day and you see a pool of water ahead of you and you think, oh, the water is almost there. No, it's the expansion of the quota. Okay, just the expansion of the quota, the roads. So as you are traveling, you see as though there is a water pool of water in front of you. No. Because as the, you know, as the sun heats on the quota, it has that expansion ability. And that's why, you, you know, at that point of expansion, when very heavy trailers carrying like gravel or very heavy substance pass through those roads, those are the things that begin to put cracks on the road. So in the evening time, in the cool of the evening, the road, the, after the expansion, it contracts just like every other um, matter that has been exposed to heat. Then it contracts and it stays at that point. So that's where the cracks begin to call, come to the... And that's why there is need for road works to begin to mend those parts. It's just part of nature because that's part of the substance that comes from the crude oil, the quota, is what they use for roads, road constructions and some other things. Yes? So when you experience that... Yeah, it's time for you now to make the right decision. And so what is happening now, another expansion period has began. Yeah, you are thinking, you are seeing water in front, but actually what is going on is expansion. At the end of the day, you will see the effect of the expansion by, on the road by the time, you know, the sun is, is already done heated and then um, the cool of the evening has come. You begin to notice cracks on the, on the roads. And if, that's why there are some roads Maybe not in Nigeria, maybe some parts of the nations of the world that you don't allow very heavy trailers that are carrying very heavy substance. They only are only allowed to travel through those roads at night because at night you don't have that expansion capacity that destroys the road. So they are designated roads for those heavy duty, uh, uh, whatever, so that, um, you know, but those, those, those roads are more sophisticated with the materials they've made them with. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.